really convenient to have these extra sides right here. Hey, I'm getting ready to go dove hunting and I'm making a, uh, hadn't been in a while, so I'm making a seat to sit on. You do a lot of waiting for the dove sometimes. I'm going to use an old uh, Home Depot bucket and I cut a piece of three quarter ply I'm going to use to uh, have a place to sit. I'm going to put some foam on top of that and then figure out some way to latch it so it can uh, stay down on the bucket here. A piece of plywood cut the shape and rounded the edges so uh, getting started on it now. Okay, so I got it flipped over and marked where the bucket's going to go. And I'm going to use these uh, pieces of wood here and the bucket will slide in like this. So I'm going to attach these pieces of wood down to the, uh, the plate. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, put these uh, retainers on here. They'll go on there like that and keep the, the bucket from coming up. So now um, it's held in place, but it can slide out. And so that's how it'll work, I guess. And then I'm gonna put some foam on top of this. Okay, I've got the, uh, the top on and the bucket uh, slides in and out. I just wanna put a piece of foam on here. I've got a piece of uh, closed cell foam. Unfortunately, it's not wide enough to cover the whole thing. So I'm just going to center it on the center and wrap it around underneath and uh, screw it on the bottom lip here. Something like that. So I'll slide the bucket out of the way for now. It doesn't have to be precise, but I'm using these, uh, these torque screws here. They've got a, a pan head, but I'm using also a fender washer on it because I'm holding down this rubber and uh, I don't want it to pull out. So I'm just going to start here on the end. So it occurred to me I'm going to want some kind of handle to hold this and carry it. And I'm going to want to carry it so the bucket is uh, down and won't slip out. I got a piece of this. Uh, this pipe here, it's like hot water pipe. I, I'm going to use that as the handle and uh, just put some parachute cord underneath this screw and underneath that screw and just have a handle here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie a little simple. I'll put some uh, black on there too to turn it down. Now I'm gonna flip it over and uh, get rid of some of this glare here. Same way, I'll just hit it with the green here first. Then come back with some flat black, kind of splotch it up. I believe I'll call that done. It's not pretty, but I think it'll work. 